Officials with South Dakota's Department of Transportation have announced that Interstate 29 in the southeast part of the state has fully reopened. According to South Dakota DOT, northbound and southbound lanes on I-29 reopened from Exit 2, near North Sioux City, to Exit 26, near Vermilion. Officials say the interstate reopened at about 3 p.m. on Tuesday, June 25th. Motorists are advised that while all lanes of traffic are open, there may be standing water along the shoulders of the roadway. This past weekend, both northbound and southbound lanes of I-29 were closed due to record high water from the Big Sioux River. Officials want to remind drivers that while I-29 has reopened, local roads and other state highways are still impacted by high water, cleanup efforts, and emergency response. As conditions change, local roads and on- and off-ramps at exit May 4th require closure to facilitate response operations. The public is asked to stay away from impacted areas to allow the response efforts to be completed safely. Drivers should not go through rushing or standing water over roadways as the road may be washed out underneath. The recent rain in southeastern South Dakota, northwestern Iowa, and southwestern Minnesota from June 20th through June 22nd caused record or near-record-breaking flooding and river crests throughout that area. The Canton area received 12.02 inches of rain, a rare event with less than a 0.1% chance. Volunteers reported up to 17.83 inches of rain in other areas. The rain totals added to an already wet month, with Mitchell setting a new record for rainfall in June. Flooding occurred in various areas, causing damage to basements, farm fields, and roads. The National Weather Service reported 19 sites where rivers had reached or had the potential to reach record crests. The recent rainfall event was described as a pure heavy rain over a broad area, unlike past events involving snowfall and snowmelt. The impact of the flooding is expected to last for weeks as cleanup and recovery efforts continue across the affected regions.